guys I'm gonna try this hose I just uh, I've got plenty of holes at the house but this uh, kind of intrigued me I ended up buying this at Lowe's and uh, it's a zero G uh, 100 foot 5 8 holes and it looked really cool it looked uh, so I'm gonna give this a try and see whether I like this So let's open this thing up. Let's see, they've got uh, tape right here in several places. And where else? One right here. Now look at that. I looked at these in the store. What's amazing is this is a hundred feet and it's so light. I mean, there's nothing to this, not a thing to this on a hundred foot hose. And it looks like it's well constructed. Nice ends on here to protect it from swiveling, aluminum, brass inserted, male and female, water threads. Yeah, so let's, let's take a look at this. So as we pull this out of here, this thing is unbelievable. 100 feet. Wow. So I'm going to pull this out of here. So what I really liked again was the lightness of it. I don't know how it'll perform, but it says here the new standard and advanced hose design and performance. And you can read the rest on there. And again, the important thing, it says equal to a 5 8 inch holes, which is what I wanted. Didn't want anything less. And then let's take a close-up of how that thing is made. They call it a True Flex Inner Core G-Force Woven Fibers. This is, <clears throat> this is what got me to looking at it. It says... Drinking water safe, manufactured with FDA sanctioned materials, lead safe, complies with the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act. And another thing here, non-marring outer cover, glides over surfaces. Coils easily for carrying and storage. And this is something that really sold me, is that you could uh, bring this holes in to the home in, in literally a, a five gallon bucket, if not less and store it. Now it did take me a couple minutes to untangle this from the box but it came but it was very easy and um, but I want to concentrate on these ends I mean they're really nicely constructed I, I like this part right here to keep it um, your material there the actual holes part Helps keep it from getting ripped off the end here. It's got a nice, they do come with the gaskets. And it is lined on the inside with brass. So guys, I always use Quick Connects. So I'm going to be putting these quick connects on the hose. And something else I'm going to do, don't know if I have to, but I'm going to use some Teflon tape on the threads when I put them on here. So I put some Teflon tape on there. Again, I don't know that I have to, but I did. Now I'm going to put on my quick connect here. Female quick connect. 
because everything I have I use quick connects for all my fittings to the anything that requires water and so now you can just take whatever it is and it's that simple likewise I put some on this also Okay guys, let's get a nice close-up of the exterior of this hose. There's the seam. There's one seam going all the way down the length of the hose. Alright, so I've not ran any water in this, so I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to go over and turn it on, and uh, let's take a look here. Well guys, it is truly amazing how they're able to put that hose into this much uh, smaller box. But they're doing it in half. They've taken the hose, folded it in half. Probably have a machine winding it that will stick that in there. But so what I did was just put it into a five gallon bucket. Put the end in that's going to go into my faucet outside into the spigot. So this way I can pull this out, connect it, and then this easily just comes right out. It does take a couple minutes to wind it in here, but I mean this thing is so light, 100 foot hose, that weighs practically nothing. Okay guys, just to give you an idea how little space the Zero G takes up, this is 100 feet of 5 8 by 100 feet of Flexilla hose. Uh, this is very good hose too. And I'm using the exact same five gallon bucket that the Zero G was in. And you see how this actually overflows the bucket. I had to do some creative winding to get this in here without kinking anything. And uh, it still doesn't all fit. So if you need 100 feet of hose and you want it to be uh, in a small contained area, that will fit the bill. Now you can also wind this up on a hose reel if you wanted to. So what I ended up doing guys is I decided to take and put the zero G hose in this uh, winder cart that I have for hose. I'm going to keep it right in here and replace my uh, Flexilla hose with this and I'm going to see how well this holds up then. Uh, throughout the year because I keep this hose I keep my hose out all the time in, in this in this container or in this hose uh, reel and it's the kind that um, self rinds up as you turn it and my Flexilla has held up I think three or four years now uh, summer fall winter and spring one thing I do though is I, I, I um, hook up a thing that I made so that when it is cold I flush this out with air so that the water does not freeze inside the hose so uh, that's a must when you're keeping things out like that uh, 24-7 365 so guys this is the setup that I use over here on the left side of the frame is the air hose coming in to this valve assembly that I made ball valve that reduces it uh, down to garden hose fittings and then I use this to blow out uh, the water hose so let's see how that's going to work. I was wondering how that was going to work with that hose since it's not rigid and when it's rolled up like that will it still 
allow the air to go through there. So let's give this a try. Well, as you can see, it worked. Now, normally, what I do is I'm holding it, but I was holding the camera, so um, it went back in there. But it does work fine. So, it uh, looks like I'll be able to leave the holes in here all year round. And when temperatures are going to get cold, just uh, make sure that it's, uh, all the uh, water has been evacuated out.